guys are looking easy, my name is Rubik Teen, and today I am bringing their Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire walkthrough, or in this case is a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough, part 9 to be exact. In the last episode, we had an hour long episode, we were in an hour strong, and uh, we had two evolutions happen, which was, nope, I don't want to save, let's hold up, hold up here, we had two evolutions, our buddy Scott evolved into a mighty, mighty Swallow, and our buddy Shroomish evolved into a mighty, Mighty Breloom, which is going to help us conquer the third gym badge, which we'll, we'll probably be taking on this episode. Anyway, also what happened is we obtained a cosplaying Pikachu. We won our first Pokemon contest, and while well, we arrived in Marvel City, we defeated um, um, our rival May. And here we are in Marvel City's... Honestly, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming that this is some sort of mall or a strip mall or something. Honestly, I have no clue, but all I know is this place is pretty cool, and we're going to be exploring this place today, and we'll be uh, taking on, um, the third gym leader, we'll be exploring Marvel City, obtain a globe, for oh, not bad, not bad at all, yes, Casilia City, but yeah, that's what, that's what happened in today's episode, we'll be exploring Marvel City, we'll be taking on the third gym leader, is this Giovanni? Just tell me this does not look like Giovanni, that looks like Giovanni. That looks like Giovanni, does it not? Oh my lord, that honestly looks like Giovanni. Are you there? Pardon me. Oh, there's- Hold on, how many floors are there? Like, is Mawa, like, inside now? Is it, like, a huge strip mall or something? Like, is this Mawa City here? I don't even know. I'm assuming this is a mall, because there's no other explanation for this giant-ass thing right here. And there we go, let's put that there. I lost my- I put my stylus somewhere, now it's gone. Hold up, there we go, I found the little fucker right here. But yeah, I'm gonna put Electric in the PC just because, well, we don't, I don't really plan on using Electric. And this box one is almost full, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It sure is. Um, do we need to heal up here? I don't think we need to heal up. Nah, we're, we're good for right now, our team's looking perfectly fine. I can always heal you up with Mega Drain and stuff like that, and I don't think we'll be battling anyone in the mall. Then again, we might actually... But yeah, let's see, can we go buy some Ultra Balls or something like that? That would be really helpful if we can buy Ultra Balls. Ex except I don't really think we can buy Ultra Balls this early in the game. Nope, only Great Balls, but we can hide we can buy Revives now, that's, that's something new. And we can buy our Super Repels, so I might, I might actually buy those later on. But then again, I, I like capturing all these Pokemon because it's gonna help us a lot uh, later on in the game. So let's go explore this. Uh, I think we came from this area last time. So let's go explore this area, I don't even know what's... Like, what's with all this stuff? What is in here? What is this? You there! Welcome to the Special Mirror Store. Mirrors alone. Oh! Okay, so that's for Thunderous and Tornadoes later on. What do you do, a guy? Do you Pokemon surprise? Yes. Holy shit, we have 309 Pokemon. What? How do we have that much? With 300, I can buy a full store. With 1,000, I can buy... With 500, I can buy a rare candy. How do we have that many Pokemons? Like, what the hell? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. That. Ooh, hey there, lady. Hey there. Yes, that's pretty much Hoenn doing that. Nah, that's nothing like Hoenn. There's so much stuff to do in Hoenn. Reflect. No, I have not. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's give that to Groval then. Because people have been saying that, hey, you should probably, like, give Groval some saws and shit. So, there we go. Yes. Yes, you're all massaged up. You there. I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Got Wait, so Marwell is it's all indoors now or like what how is his uncle? I'm begging you So this isn't a mall Marwell's actually Inside it's like inside a building now This is pretty cool actually Ah, uh, Jake Rolls and I've been getting a lot stronger since we first met growing together I want to prove that to you and my uncle both Jake His uncle looks like a creep like honestly holy man are you sure this is your uncle guy? Like, what the frick? I, I think this is not your uncle. I'm just gonna say that right now. But so is Mawa like inside now? Like, is it like in a little like, is it in, is it Ma is the whole Mawa thing indoors now? Or like, how, wow, how is this working? Like, honestly, I'm kind of confused right now. Like, is, are we in Mawa or are we going to Mawa City? Like, how, how does this work? Is Mawa inside now? Or like, what the hell is happening here? Like, this is kind of like, it, it, for me, it feels like we're inside, like, a giant-ass building that's Mawal. Level 25, Scott, you need to calm down there. 
Calm down. Like, I don't mind you leveling up like that, but seriously, level 25 already? Yikes, you need to, like, calm down there, Mawa. Like, damn, son. Yes, you, but you go back to Vernon Turf Town. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing the town's name wrong, but... Yes, you go back. I don't care, Wally. You're... I don't know. I, I don't... I don't mind Wally. It's as he talks way too much. Like, look all this shit he's talking about. Yes, go on, you little baby. Go on. I don't need to talk to you, Wally. <sighs> goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Mm. It's just dawned on me what you must... Yes, I... Yeah, you're welcome. What does he give you? HMO6 Rock Smash! No way! Rock Smash is an HM now! Damn! Damn! Okay, Rock Smash is an HM once again. Okay, I, I would... The reason why I'm so shocked is because Flash used to be an HM way back in, um... The original games, Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. But now, what is this? What is this? But what is this though? Is this like the casino? What is this? What the hell is this? Like I'm What is happening here? Oh, I forgot in Marvel City there's actually a TV. You know the Hoenn Rangers? I do know, not really. I don't even know who the Hoenn Rangers are. But yeah, in Marvel, we actually have a TV station here. And in the original games, this was used for um being able to receive your uh uh the mystery gift stuff. Um, like on the screen where on the starting screen you'll be able to, that's how you that's how you receive your mystery gift uh, is by entering a certain code here and then you're able to do that. I don't know what is used in, in this game for I don't think that's what it's used for anymore because you automatically receive the mystery game and stuff like that. So yeah, but this is where it is at. This is the this is where it all began with mystery gifts and stuff. Um, and I don't I, and Ruby and Sapphire this is where it began. I don't know about Fire Red and Leaf Green, but this is pretty much where it all started. Hey, look, I'm on Pokemon News! Oh, this is actually something that people can use for, like, Pokemon News. <gasps> I'm definitely gonna rip this out of the game and, like, do that for my, like, for Poke News and stuff. Man, oh, man. Let's see you there. Are you going to the studios? Hell yeah, I'm going to the studios. Who do you think I am? Actually, no, I'm not going to the studios. That's not part of my schedule right now. For right now, I'm exploring Marvel City because I guess we're in Marvel City. I, I honestly thought this was, like... A mall or something, but I guess it's not. This is Marvel City right here, which is pretty cool. It's all indoors now and stuff. Uh, that would be pretty cool having a whole city indoors, like honestly. You there. Hey, what are you staring at me for? I have to wait here for Genesect. Oops, forget what I just said. What? Is this where we get Genesect? Is this where we get Genesect? Please tell me that is, because then I'll definitely go picking up my... Oh, here we go. We can be outside now, so I guess there is an outside part of Mawa City. Hey, Squirt, you like Pokemon? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I would say I love them. Yes! A po oh, okay, all that questions for a Poke toy. See, I like Pokemon. Well, I can see that. Ooh, a Taylo. Hey there, Taylo. Lo, 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 lo. It, so it sounds like it's saying LOL. <laughs> but what is this? What is this? I don't remember that. I mean... Sure. A metronome. I don't, I thought we'd get the ATM metronome. Fuck that. I thought we were gonna get the TM metronome. No, I don't want... No. What are you talking about here? Jesus. What is... Okay, that's downstairs. Like That's going back into Marvel City. See, Marvel is... It's like... An, a city inside a giant dome. That's what Marvel is basically right now. This is sweet! I really love what they did to Marvel City. This guy talks about Marvel City's change. Like, honestly, this is sweet. I, I, I don't remember Marvel City being like this in the original games. Because if it was, well, then the graphics weren't that good. Because, well, this is like... Man, this is incredible. I have no words for this, honestly. That's so awesome it is. You're gonna treat me to dinner? I, would, I told you it was a Woody, eh? Is she like Canadian or something? <laughs> like seriously, what the hell? Oh boy, ma'am. Okay, you there. What do you have? Do you have anything for me? I was like just thinking about back tomorrow. I was dragging me down. Why do you feel so unmotivated? Like, come on now. Work isn't that bad. Like, seriously. Work gives you money. Money is good. Money buys you stuff. Money buys you Pokemon, which equals happiness. So, I don't know why you're upset about going back to work. Like, seriously, man. 
Okay, what else is there here? I don't think there's much here to do. Oh boy, what is this? Okay, hand, please. What? He just randomly gives you a nugget? A money fine nugget, all yours now! Well, thank you, sir. Hope it pans out for you. Oh, it certainly will. There's nothing funny about nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> now that you said there's nothing funny about it, it's funny. Hmm. Oh, it looks like you have quite a bit of promise yourself. Yes, I do. I guess I have some promises to myself. Whatever that means. No, your Manam will never make it to the contest. I'm just kidding. Manam, Manam is good for a uh, cute. I think it's good for a beautiful or cute contest. Not too sure though. But man, there's so much stuff in Marvel to do. Like honestly, this this place is. Hey, hey, little boy. What do you have to say? Hey, wait for me. Young and take a look at that. But Taylor was a lucky one. Way up high with the touch of the wind ruffling its feathers. Man, there's a freaking tailo up there. Can you catch that tailo? Let's see this tailo. Let's see, check this thing out. Let's check this tailo out real quick. Oh, oh. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. Even though there's <gasps> a Rhyhorn. Can I, can I ride on it? Ah, oh, the Rhyhorn rider's out of order. How is it out of order? It's a Pokemon. How is a Pokemon out of order? What the hell? Okay, well, guess that's it. Um... I'm gonna try getting on the elevators. I'm assuming we can't because that guy said we can't. Computer, there is an elevator from all hill, hill tenants only. So I'm assuming that's for after game, and after game we'll probably get some sort of who knows what. What is this? Balanced Hoenn. Okay, what is, can we go in here? I don't remember there being a battle institute in the original Marvel City. Oh, that's where you get the VS recorded, so now we can do Wi-Fi battles, I'm assuming. Or record them. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's my plan. Not bad. I don't think I'll be trying this out, because I don't really know what this is. But if you guys want me to try this out, definitely let me know, and I'll definitely go try it out in the next episode, or future episodes, because I'm, rec I'm, uh, I'm recording ahead here, so... By the time you get this episode, I'll be at, like, episode 20 or something like that, so I don't even know. Um, what is this? Have we been here? Inverse battle stop. Okay, so that's inverse battles. Um. But yes, here's the bicycle stop. So this is where we get the mock bike and the acro bike, but it's talking to this guy over here, Mr. Rydle. And yes, I did come far away. I actually came all the way from Little Root Town. So uh, I want two kinds of bikes, mock and acro bike. So it, yeah, I in my la in my uh, the Road to Omega Ruby series, I chose the Acro Bike, thinking that's the one you need this early in the game. It's not. Don't don't get the ac Acro Bike. The Acro Bike is it really it's an after game basically when you need the Acro Bike. For right now, you basically rely on the Mock Bike. This is because all the puzzles for bikes you need the Mock Bike. The only reason you would really need to use um oh here we go here we go. Over here, there's a few things about this area. Um, actually, no, I'm not even going to go about that. I'll, I'll talk about it later because this is a pretty big spoiler. Anyway, uh, the only reason you would need an acro bike for right now is for uh, the 6th gym, which is in Treefort City. Uh, there's a few puzzles there where you need an acro bike to jump on it because with the acro bike, you're able to do little jumps and stuff like that. Where with the mock bike, you're not able to do that. But mo Oh, shit. Okay, I need to switch out here. But yeah, for most of the part, you definitely need to rely on your mock bike because all the puzzles in this game, um, well, in main game, are basically relied on the mock bike just because the mock bike can go up slopes and stuff like that, where the acro bike's mainly used just for jumping and stuff like that. And uh, so yeah, that's that's that. So I guess you can use the acro bike for right now, but if you want to complete all those puzzles that I'm talking about, yeah, you probably will need to go back and, and get the mock bike so yeah i would recommend getting the acro bike at, once you're up to, once you're uh, going for the sixth gym leader so once you're about to go to tree fort city then you um then you uh, go and uh whatchamacallit then you go on switch out for the acro bike um or them yeah so that's that that's that's the bikes the good old bike talk right there i still let you guys know about that because that honestly confused me when i uh know because I, I thought the acro bike's the one that's important, but it's not actually, it's the mock bike. So yeah. 
Enough for the bike ra uh, rent. Let me take care of this China over here with a freaking Roselia. And yeah, the oh, we can catch a... I believe that's a Carvana? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's a Carvana. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, yeah, we don't get- we don't have Surf just yet. We'll have Surf in like a few more episodes. I think an episode or two from now. Maybe. I don't really know. I think- I'm assuming it's gonna be at least... Um... Another three episodes or so before we get the mock bike. Not- uh, fuck, why- why do I keep thinking mock bikes? Before we get Surf? So it's gonna be another like- yeah, it's gonna be another long time before we get, actually get Surf. So we can't really worry about that right now, but yeah. Let's take care of the surf fishing guy over here, Fisherman Wade. He's got a Carvana. Hope I think that's a Carvana we need to catch in this area. Yeah, it looks like a Carvana on the bottom screen. It definitely looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Mega Drain here just get, so I can get my health back. Why did I go for Leaf Blade? Oh, I wanted my health back. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Rough skin too. Ouch. Ouch. Jesus. Okay, yeah, I should have... Should have gone for a Mega Drain there. Whatever. Whatever, we'll be fine. Le uh, Sage over here can take care of himself pretty well, so, uh, yeah. Okay, um... You there! Let me melody rock yourself! Oh, okay, I- this guy is pretty good at guitar, though, so, uh, yeah, you gotta listen to his guitar skills, man. Guitar is Dalton. Oh, yeah, Magnemite. Yes, we're gonna try out Birdie Loom here and see how much Mach Punch really does to a Magnemite. So I'm really stoked about this actually. Let's go into our buddy Breloom over here. Look at that Breloom. Oh, Atom's got an item on him. So let's we're gonna go check that out in just a second. And yeah, I know at last episode I did promise you guys that we'll be uh, able to uh, that we're gonna uh, wanna trade a Pokemon, but it was already an hour long, and I was kind of confused about like is this a mall or not, or like what is this? Is this Mawal or yeah? But I guess it is Mawal City, and for some reason it's underneath a whole dome now. Damn, like, why Why did they change that? Like, was it always like that? I don't I don't recall it being like that in the game, so I don't even know. Level 25, though, so we're getting up there. We're getting up there. Wishmer, okay. Definitely gonna, um, stay in with Breloom just to use out Mock Punch. You see how much damage that really does? Oh, I'm so, so happy we got a Breloom now. This gym is gonna be so easy, like, honestly. So, so easy for this Breloom. It's gonna sweep through this whole fucking gym. Oh, I'm so stoked for this now. Level 20? I think you evolve into a Lainun now, don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you evolve into a Lainun. Yeah, I, I, I kind of knew it. Yeah. So now I guess we've got a Lainun, even though we're not really using Zigzagoon on our team, or should I say Lainun? It's just kind of an HM slave. But the good thing about us having a Lainun now, I believe Lainun can learn Waterfall, and I usually don't really teach my Pokemon Waterfall. I usually get someone else to use that. Even though Lainun's sick, though. Like, Lainun's pretty good. But that's only for like Y files. I've never really used it in game just because well, I honestly it's it's kinda weak in game. It's still pretty good for in game, but I don't know, it, it doesn't really learn much moves, so that's why I consider it pretty weak. Just because it doesn't really learn much moves. And yeah, I we're done here, I think, with this area. There's nothing really else here. So let's go back into Mawal City. That's kinda weird to say we're going back into Mawal City. Even because we're literally going inside Mawal City. It's like a dome now. It's inside a giant ass dome. Did we talk to you? Did we? I don't think we talked to you. While well, Pokemon could jump you. <laughs> Pokemon could jump you. <laughs> I don't know, that's just kind of funny. Second L's of a horse's route, one, two, he's down to the quarter. It has learned Surf. Oh! That's pretty interesting, actually, I guess. Hmm. What is this? What is this? <gasps> oh, a move to it! Yes! Yes! I'm gonna learn amazing. Amaze balls! Which po- <laughs> Amaze balls! Able. So this is the um, guy that teaches you Grass Pledge, and I want to see how much damage this does. 80. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yes, definitely deleting out with Pursuit because I don't think I'll be using Pursuit much except against Psychic types. But then again, I have other Pokemon that can take care of Psychic types pretty easily. So yeah, that's something I'm really happy that I just learned. Grass Pledge. Even though the move isn't really good on its own, you mainly need Fire Pledge and, uh, whatchamacallit, can we go through here? <laughs> if you did, that'd be pretty cool. And, uh, Water Pledge, so yeah, it's kind of that. Oh, what's up here? I think we've already been up here. No, what is, what is up here? Is this, yeah, this is going outside again. And I'm pretty sure we've already been outside. Yeah, we've already been here. So let's go talk to this old guy, because I don't... We haven't talked to this old guy yet. So let's go talk to you. 
Do you watch Buzznaf? Yes, I do watch Buzznaf, except all they talk about is me. So, uh, you know, I, I need to, like, yeah, I'm pretty famous, eh? <laughs> um, this is kidding, though. So, we're, I think we've explored everything here. I think we've done everything in this, in this mall or in Marwell City that there is to do. Uh, so all we need to do now is take on the gym leaders. So that's going to be pretty exciting. We've, t we've talked there. We've, we've gone. We haven't been over here, which is, what route is this? This is Route 111. So, yeah. I guess we can go into Route 111 and take care and take on this, on the, uh, on the Winstrade's house. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not take on the Winstrade's house here? Just because, well, it's good experience, and that way we, we can have some more experience. And I, I really want Sage to be level 26 by the end of this episode. I don't know why. That, that way, that we've got 10 more levels until he's level... Until he's a freaking uh, Septal. Oh, I'm so excited for Septal. So he starts out with a, a Talo here. <laughs> I'm gonna switch into my own Swallow over here to take care of your Talo. To show him who's boss here. Who's boss around this town? My Swallow, obviously. So yeah, I need to show you who's boss here, man. Like, seriously, man. Double team. That is in shit against my ta my. Ah, oh, I keep calling you Talo for some reason. That is in shit against my Swallow, though. Swallow, take care of this Taylor with a nice aerial ace. Look at that. Destroyed 0 to 100 real quick. Okay, so, um. Zigzag Goon, Zigzag Goon. Let's go on a Breloom here. Ah, fuck, I forgot to take off the item on Linoon. I don't even know what item it is, but I'm assuming it's a pretty good item, so, uh, yeah. Zigzag Goon, Mock Punch you, and you should be done 0 to 100 real quick. Look at that. Destroyed. This destroyed, annihilated. Oh, I'm loving Breloom right now. Like, honestly, this Pokemon is amazing. When she's act. <laughs> uh, you're stronger than I thought. No shit. Like, do you think I'm some kid around here that's, like, weak as hell? No. You're gonna get your ass kicked. Hey, y'all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Well, you did. You, you certainly did, sir. You certainly found a really strong trainer. The only thing I don't like about the Winstreet, the Winstreet family, is that, um, uh, the Pokemon are kind of repetitive here, and it's all just, it's kind of in the same category, and yeah, I don't know. I, I would have liked them to be a bit harder, because they're like, they're level 20s and stuff like that. That's not really hard anymore for us, uh, unless you're un oh, under leveled. But I, in this game, I feel like in Ruby and Sapphire, it, it would have been a different story. But then again, there, I kind of had the same issue that when I, when I got here, they weren't really a challenge for me. It was kind of easy. So, yeah. Then again, I did lose in my uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, the Road to Pokemon Omega Ruby uh, series. I did lose against the Windshield family once, just because I, I was like, nah, I'm not going to heal up here, because it's pretty easy, eh? Nope. This is not that easy. You think it would be easy, but it's not. It's it's pretty hard, just because in that game, your Pokemon don't get that much experience. But then again, like I said, honestly, I've never really had trouble with 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 this family, if you have the right Pokemon. Like, if you start with Mudkip, get yourself a Slackoff and a Vigoroth, and then, um... And, and, and what else? So it's Slackoff, Vigoroth, and uh, no, it's Vigoroth, Mud, uh, Marsh Tomp, and uh, and something else. I forgot. Uh, Anamakuta. If you have those three Pokemon, you're basically set. Like it's not that hard against uh, against these trainers. But if you start with a Grow over the Trico, the game is pretty hard for you. Trust me. If you don't have the right Pokemon, the right combination of Pokemon, the game will get pretty hard for you. But right now, we're just flying through this game because our team is so awesome. And like I said, let me know what Pokemon you guys think I should use. Like, right now, I I plan on casting a Nummel. Oh, fuck, I should have switched. I should have switched. I should have switched. But yeah, for right now, I plan on casting a Nummel. Uh, for a Water type, I don't really know what kind of Water type Pokemon I want to use. That's actually, I think that's going to be part uh, 8's question today is what Water type Pokemon I should use. And uh, yeah. Um, so that's probably gonna be part 8's question of the day is what water type Pokemon should I use? Because honestly, I have, I don't really know what I should use for a water type Pokemon. Because there's they're see, they're Seal, there's they're Spiel, Goldeen, Magikarp, um, Whalemur. There's a lot of water type Pokemon in this game. I just don't know which one to use because there's so much to choose from. Hoenn by far has the best selection of water type Pokemon you can choose from in game. Which I really like because this game... It kind of makes sense because Hoenn is surrounded by a lot of sea and stuff like that and oceans and stuff. I don't know why I said sea. That is, that's not proper ground whatsoever, Jake. Um, so it's, it's surrounded by a bunch of oceans. So it kind of makes sense that there's so many 
Yes, he did lose. Uh, I'll watch this. Watch this. <laughs> this stinks. <laughs> grandma! She's crying that she lost, and, her, and then her grandma's like, Oh, there you might pass this grandma or cry. I, I'm gonna whoop your ass with a kind of whoop ass right here. That's, that's basically what the grandma's saying. Is that she's like, Yeah, Vicky, I'm gonna beat your ass because you beat my daughter's ass. <laughs> if you know what I mean, winky face. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, Leaf Blade, go! Yeah, Leaf Blade! There we go, this Metadite is gonna be dead. Oh no, what? What? There's no way in hell. I'm level, like, what level are you? What level are you? 22? Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm only level 25. Well, 26. After I whip your ass. There we go, level 26 right here. 0 to 100, real quick. Mm-hmm. Level 26 right there. Oh, yes. Level 26. Hell yeah. Fucking right. 10 more levels right here. And then we've got a mighty, mighty septile. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Spending money like we never had money. Good song, good song by the way. Okay, um, I didn't take Great Ball. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so I think I'm gonna switch into Breloom for right now, and then that should be good for right now. I think. Yeah, that's gonna be good right now. And let's go pick up our uh, scarf. I uh, or our, I think it he, he, this guy gives you a bracelet of some sort. The, yeah, the Macho Bracelet. There we go. And this house is pretty interesting because I, I don't really know. But uh, they keep talking about how their son took on the Elite Four. I'm assuming this is actually Steven Stone's um, family that he came from. I'm assuming that is because th this guy, I think it's him, that talks about his how his son uh, won a challenge the Pokemon League. And he, he doesn't know where he is. I'm assuming that's where Steven Stone came from. I'm not too sure because they don't really explain anything about where he came from. And this is the only person, because the only four member you know of right now is Steven Stone. Well, you don't really know about him. So, uh, yeah, but that's like the first Elite Four member you meet in the game. So, I'm assuming that's where he came from. And, yeah. um, I want to kind of, I want let's go catch Goldie. Let's go catch Goldie. Let's go catch him. Let's see. If I, if I can get him right now, I'll go catch him. If not, we'll just go challenge the Pokemon gym leader, Watson. Because, well, Watson's going to get his ass kicked. Oh, it's a freaking magic card. No, I'm not gonna catch a magic card, but I already have one. I thought I'd go catch myself a uh, a goldine, but I guess there's I can't catch a goldine, right? Yeah, I can, freaking can't catch one. So there we go. Um, you there? Do you, I think I battle you? Nope. <laughs> they destroyed. <laughs> How do you get your ass kicked by the windshield? Actually, I got my ass kicked. Sadly. Mm. Um. Hmm. Nothing else here, so let's go onward and battle the gym. We don't really need to heal up because, well, Breloom's fine. He's good to go. He's really good to go. Let's let's go take on this gym, okay? Oh yes! Yo, how's it going, champ? To be Jake Watson, leader of Marvel Gym, uses Electric type Pokemon. If you challenge him with a Water type Pokemon, he'll zap them. Bzzz. He's put it and switched to control electric device all over this gym. Hey, go for it! Ah, oh, okay. This is gonna be pretty easy. My lucky soul is sh it'll shadow your dreams whole. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see how that's gonna happen. I don't think you'll be shouting my soul. If anything, I'll be shouting your soul. Magnemite, he starts with a Magnemite, so you know it's gonna be a good gym if he starts with a Magnemite. Because, well, we got that Mock Punch. Mock Punch will destroy these Magnemites one after another. Resume with 100 real quick. Make another safe of Mountain Dew, right? I, I, I kind of want to keep calling it Mountain Dew, but it's not even fucking Red Bull. As soon as I. Yeah, never mind. Mmm. Mmm. Mountain Dew with ice in it. Best combination ever. Okay, Electric. Let's go for... Um... Hmm. No, I don't know if Mock Punch will kill you, because... It's neutral. Oh, it does, okay. I should not underestimate Brilliant. I need to see what kind of attack you have. What, what kind of, like seriously? Because I'm assuming I'm I'm pretty sure Brilliant Brilliant is a physical attacker. So let's check this out. I need to see, to see this. Um. Yeah, attack 81. So yeah, it, it's it's done. This this gym is gonna be a piece of cake, honestly. And we got another item on the uh, HM over here. Take. Ah, yes, a Hyper Potion. We don't, we don't even gonna have to buy freaking Hyper Potions because our freaking HM is going to give them all to us. There we go. Just like that. 
There's only one trainer in this gym. I'm kind of upset, like, honestly. <gasps> oh, no, there's a different floor here. Okay, for a second, I thought there was only one trainer in this gym. I'm like, what? There used to be way more trainers in this gym than there is now. Youngster Ben, what do you have? Electric, eh? Electric, hmm. Hmm. I think I'll kick your ass with a mock punch right here. Just, just def destroy you. No questions asked. Just destroyed. Mock punch. Go, and I, I don't... I'm kind of worried I'm going to get paralyzed here. Just because of Electric, I think has this static point or something like that. Level 21, okay. We need to calm the fuck down there, HM. Like, I know you want to level up and all, and you want to be part of the team, but that will never happen. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Man, I kind of want to design a t-shirt that these youngsters has. Because th I, that Sableye t-shirt looks, looks sick as fuck. Honestly, I don't know what, and if I do, like, let me know. That's going to be the question of the day today. I think I, yeah, I don't know. I think I've already said a question of the day today, but no. That's going to be the question of the day today. Should I design a Mawal t-shirt like that one right there? Because honestly, I can see that being something that I want to design. But then again, I can see some people getting mad at me for designing t-shirts and stuff like that. So let me know. Should I design a mock, uh, a Sableye t-shirt? And if so, will you guys buy it? Because, uh, yeah, it's, I think I have to pay like a certain amount of money if I want to design t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm just going to scout right here. I don't know why I went... Against a metadite thing, I can take it out. Even though my tax 81, I should be able to take out a metadite. Okay, anyway, uh, you're gonna go for confusion, trying to confuse me here, eh? Huh? Trying to confuse me? Watch me. Yeah. Oh, I called it. I knew I was gonna get confused by confusion. I just knew it. Because that's how my luck is in this game. Fuck you. I got. Oh my lord. I knew that's gonna happen too. Thunder Punch. Shit. Are we gonna get wrecked by a, a metadite? Come on now, come on, come on. Don't get hit in confusion. Don't get hit in confusion. Don't get hit in confusion. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. No, 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 no. Man, if this was a Nuzlocke, <laughs> I would have been so pissed. Like, you would have seen me. I would have been screaming and yelling, and I, I would have probably, like, shat my pants by now. <laughs> Uh, let's go for a grass pledge. I want to see how this move looks in this game. Oh, looks base. It looks the same as it does in X and Y. I'm kind of upset now. And same with the battle background. I'm kind of upset how in the gym the battle background is, hasn't really it hasn't changed whatsoever. It's the same as in X and Y for the gyms. So I'm pretty upset about that. I don't know why I'm just really upset about that. You there? I change under Watson's there. Ain't no way I lose easily. Oh, okay, okay. If you try to underneath Watson, that means you have a Magnemite, don't you? No, you've got a Voltorb. Okay, I see how it is having a Voltorb thing and you're Mr. Cool and all whatnot here. No, no, you're, you're definitely getting your ass kicked here. Definitely getting your ass kicked. Mock Punch, go. Take care of this Voltorb like it's nothing. Zero to 100, real quick. Look at that. This is done. Done. Done like dinner, my... There we go. Oh, you got two Voltorbs, huh? You think you're like, you're like, you're gonna kill me here? Nope. Voltorb ain't a problem for me no more. It never was, actually. It wasn't. Yeah, look at that. Quake Claw. Okay. So, I don't think... No, Voltorb was never a problem for me in the first place. So, uh, yeah. Get your ass wrecked, Mr. I trained with Watson. Hmm. <laughs> what does that do? Guitar Shawnee. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, uh, if you, uh, train with Watson, you're gonna beat me because I train by myself. So, uh, you know what that means, man. You know what that means. Oh, fuck. I just screwed that up. Let me go through here. And then I think, shit, what do you do here? Oh, okay. I think if you go over here, yeah, okay, okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're going to go to Watson over here. And as always, I recommend you save before you battle him because, well, in case your game corrupts or you, your DS dies or something like that, then you're right at the gym leader again. Or in case you lose and you don't want to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. But for me, I'm not going to save like usual. Let's go battle Watson over here. Man, that's like a giant electric ball right there. That's sick. Man, oh man. He's got so much electricity in this gym. He's like, yeah, look at this electricity ball, man. This is so cool. So cool. Oh, now what are we doing here? <laughs> you say you've gotten my pass on my rig doors? <laughs> now that's amusing. The plans to reform all are done for now. Making chats with my gym and battling with young trainers like you are the things I live for now. Then I watch the leader of Marvel Gym shall I defy you. <laughs> I love Watson. Like, look at that smile. He's so happy. He's like, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. I don't think so, though. You're gonna get your ass handed to you, Watson. He sells on Magnemite. First up, lose that mock punch, and you're that Magnemite's done. That Magnemite is done for days. Just done. Aura with zero to hundred, real quick. There we go. Mock punch. <laughs> this Magnemite is not even a problem anymore. You used to be a problem for me, but now you're not. What? What? Says when does Magnemite have sturdy? Okay, well you're gonna you're gonna heal up anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, berry that. Mm -hmm. It heals my paralysis. There we go, cherry berry. Because you're going to use a super potion anyway, so why not? Why should I just stand here and do nothing? So, yeah, I don't know. You had freaking. What's from a god? I don't know. You had sturdy. What? What? Headbutt. There we go. Because you've got the ability. Oh my lord. The critical hit. Yes! You flinched and couldn't move. <gasps> what now? What now? Get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. There we go. Magnemite's dead. Let's see what's up next here. What's up next? I think it's Voltorb. Level 26 in the bag. There we go, level 26. What's what's up next here? Uh, Magneton. Oh, boy. He sounds like a big threat. Second. And... Oh! Get wrecked, Magneton. Get absolutely destroyed here. I'm going to go for a quick lot. Well, actually, the quick lot lets me go first. Because I'm assuming you've got sturdy as well. So I'm going to go for headbutt. Ah! <laughs> Two foots in a row. Yes, this game is finally panning out for me. Look at that. Megaton gets destroyed, absolutely wrecked. Zero to hundred, real quick. There we go. Uh, Voltorb, oh Voltorb, you're gonna get destroyed, man. You're just gonna get destroyed. Ah, oh. Meg Mock Punch, you're done, Meg. You're done, Voltorb. You're just done. You're you're done. Done like dinner. Ah, oh, yum yum yum. Eat that up. Ugh. Wow, that was that was really easy. Like honestly. I can't imagine how hard this gym would have been if I only had Groval and uh, Swell. Like, honestly, that would have not been fun. I was electrified by you now. Take this badge. And just like that, we receive our third gym badge out of eight. So we need five more. And then we're on to Elite Four. Hmm, so we can use Rock Smash now and a Pokemon of level 40 will obey. And he gives you Team 72 Vault Switch. And I believe in the original games, it was not Vault Switch. I think it was something else because I'm pretty sure Vault Switch did not exist up until black and white so fifth gen i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that's how it works i think i'm because i don't remember there being vault switch and pope and ruby and sapphire that's for sure that is for sure so now i miss i, I think we missed something over here I, I don't know i just feel like we missed a few things um, yeah over here we i don't really think i talked this You can buy ribbons? That's not that's not fair at all. What? Why would I buy a ribbons? That's not fair whatsoever. Whatever, let's talk to this old lady over here though. Let's see what you gotta say, old lady. Hey! Camera angle. There's a daycare center for Pokemon. Oh no way! Daycare centers! Um Yeah, we've thought we've done everything here. Except we haven't gone into this coffee shop over here. Let's let's go in here. I don't know why there's a coffee shop here, but whatever. Yeah, you want your Pokemon friendly towards you. Okay, nothing really happens here. I thought you'd get an item or something special happens here. Actually, I think... Yeah, this is where you get this is where you get Keldew and Meloda. That's why this place is over here. Yeah, okay. Because this kind of reminds me of the cafe in uh, Castilla City. Okay, so that's, that's, that's quite interesting to know about that. So, uh, um... Oh! Oh! A Pokeball right here and my fucking printer just went off. Stupid ass printer. You need to calm down there, printer. You need to calm down. And X speed kind of makes sense because there's bikes right there and bikes make you go faster. So, yeah, it makes sense. What is in here? What the hell is this? So, we missed quite a bunch of stuff. What is this? Hmm. Oh, this is a food court. Oh, this is kind of like, um, ah, uh, what game is it? I think it's black and white. I'm pretty sure. No, this is like, this is like Pokemon Down and Pearl and Platinum. That's it. That's it. Man, we're going to do this next episode, though. I'm not going to forget about that. We're doing that next episode. 
That's because this episode is kind of lengthy right now. It's almost it's 40 minutes. Yes, I don't. We've already talked to you. Why am I talking to you again? But nonetheless, we've already been over here. I need to go find. It's so confusing. Where is the Poke Center at? I need the Poke Center. <laughs> Why? Where the hell are we going? Like, where is the Pokemon Center at? We've already been here. Where is the Pokemon Center? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Let's go heal up here. And I'll be into this episode. Just like that. Um, I don't think there's anyone important in the Pokemon Mart in this. No, in the Pokemon Center in Marvel City. Don't think so. I don't think so whatsoever. No, I'm pretty sure at least there's nothing important. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, thank you, thank you so much for all the support. And uh, yeah, so... As always, thank you for letting me know what I should do. And let's make this episode, let's make this walkthrough really interactive. Let me know if stuff I can do to make this walkthrough more interactive. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for all the support. Until next time, peace out to you guys then.